you go. This one's swole. <laughs> I'm gonna take two of these. All right, disabled, disabled. Player one, war camp. Um, player one, war camp. Uh, war camp is going to. Let's uh, let's bust out another um, boulder hurler. Boulder hurler. So they're gonna go for the for the phalanx there for a sec. All right, let's go with rockhead. Two, war camp. You can move through your own units with okay. the war camp. Okay. So you moved, there was nothing to attack, but you can also move and, and attack on the move because those are turn turns. Oh, okay. okay. And you can also provision as well. So you can always attack and provision, you can always do those because those are during turn abilities. Uh -huh. And then uh, the things that are one or the other is move or convert. Do I provision them as I pass them if I were to be able exactly. to? Exactly. Oh, that is how that works. Okay. And so provisioning is either resupplying one of your allies, you can restock one of your squads, or you can rest your warlord to heal. I'm, I'm a little confused about this. What is that symbol? Oh, that means vulnerability, and that is uh, magic more. damage. But don't worry about it, it's not in this version of the game. Okay, because it's not on the card. Yeah, it's, it's not. That's Those are the standard pieces. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It heals one to full? It heals the. So the listed like amount for war camps oh, is the next stage. There are certain enemies they can summon that are still joining with them. Yeah. Yeah. So that's war camp health, that's how much a war camp recovers, and it's all, that's also how much they rest a warlord. Because that's the war camp order okay. size, and that's how many attacks a war camp can do. But those pieces can and their attack is a turn turn, their provision is a dirt turn, that can either rest, restock, or resupply. Uh, I feel like that's it could be interesting. Restock and resupply is your squad, is that? Yes. So I have to be physically like in there, or can I be here? Within borders. Within borders means in the box? Yep. I'm still going to just do this. Let's see what happens. So you could be right here, and then you'll be able to rest your warlord. Right, right. But you want to be here? Yes. All right. Next is player three, war camp. Runic protectors, again. Another runic protector. You are maxed now. Right. Yep. Okay. So okay. you have your That's sixth it. unit. Yep. Now it's zealous, right? Uh, yes. Player four, war camp. Uh, uh, more vermin bombers. Vermin bombers. Now, have you ever run out of a certain type? Yes. Happens. So there's only four That's copies right. of each squad. Well, he also. Has so you can like maximize like, yeah. and prevent people from getting a certain unit if you <laughs> like played it out that way. I just don't know what happens. You say we're not playing the game. We're physically here playing this. Yeah, but you're in, the, you're in like your corner, like doing your own stuff. You're, you're, you're paying attention. Your you're observation like is not yeah. completely correct. He, he is so he is so much build up, and I'm just doing turtling. Yeah, you're you're, you're both solid here. <laughs> He's becoming a very big threat. Yeah, okay. he is a big threat. And I'm only hitting you because you hit me first. That's fair. And I just want the middle wild. Space. We have a warlord with the most leadership, or tied so far with the most leadership. He has like a. a, a Oh, you have four. Wow. He's okay. And he's a <laughs> he's player I one. disagree. With, with your stack. Look at my stack. I have one. It's one stack. <laughs> this is not cheating. It, everything's in the open. Everything is in the open. Alright. Uh, you got your token. Did you get your card? Yes. No. Did not. Which I, token did I give you? You gave me Berman Bomber. Jesting. Jesting. Alright. I was just saying to Peter, it'd be interesting to see. Do you see a this leader? alliance here? That had almost like a, a Voltron esque ability where they could combine. I don't even know. It would have an action where it'd be called puzzling or piece together. And if certain creatures had an adjoining piece that fits, they would connect and be dragged along with the unit. There, there is a unit that already exists. In standard. In standard. There's also a unit in this one 
uh, which is the virtuous clerics. They, can, they're, they have an ability called union, where they can take two units of the same type. As long as they're within range, they can uh, make one immediately recall and fully restock the other. The one that's recalling can transfer any of their loyalty onto the one that gets fully restocked. And after the union, the virtuous clerics gain two loyalty. So they like, <laughs> oh, they're they're in this version. Oh, they're in this. The virtuous clerics are in this one. Okay. The one you're talking about with the the stacking. Yeah, that's in the stand. Okay. Okay. That's called the tamed moonwalker. Okay. All right. Next. That's four. Four. You which you just did. So we are good. Nothing to recover. Nothing to collect. Now we're going to recall. The gotten witches. I'll pay for it. Canceling the recall. They didn't have any loyalty on them, right? No. All right. So it's being canceled. They are back. Uh, they were successfully recalled, right? They weren't. So he canceled. Oh, yeah. yes. their, oh, he paid good. one leadership to cancel their recall. So they canceled it. Yep. Recall, recall would have been they recall. left. No. So we were. They were about to recall, and he spent leadership to convince them to stay. And now they're back on board. So recall doesn't mean that you call them back to the battlefield. It means you, they're recalled off of the battlefield. Yeah. So recall would be very powerful if it was immediate. Uh -huh. So there is a chance to save a unit from recall, right. which is what he just did. Okay. Uh, where, where do they go? Like, where do they come back up? Oh, they went back to their initiative. So they went on the board. On the board, they, they stay They there. always stay on the board. They never leave until they, just, they fully recall. They were thinking of getting another job. I said, hey, I'll give you a 401k and a nice pension. Plan. And they stayed. And they stayed. So. Love it. Love it. All right. Events. We move the dragon. Now we are on we bidding. Decided. Three. We got three bid for no, player dragon. one. Guaranteed dragon. Sorry, so I just want to be clear on my thing. So successfully recalls within presence mean that they don't pay for it. You let them go away? Exactly. Okay. So it didn't go away, so you didn't get the benefit okay. of that of that one leadership. Okay. Well, you got the dragon. Cool. Alright, so, so three leadership. You get the dragon. Now you get two war tokens. Keep. You want to keep it? Keep All right, them. so two war tokens here. Okay. I'm going to have them remain silent. No. So you are lawful, so you could do silent or do a song of order. Silent. Silent. All right, nothing happens. Um, and... Do you want it to take a step? Yes. He keeps the dragon until the dragon disappears? Oh, until the dragon comes back again? Well, he's going to hold it for right now, and now the dragon's going to take a step, and now he no longer has control of the dragon. Okay. So now a battle cry happens, everyone gets one leadership. You got yours? Yep. You get one leadership? Some more over here. Just in case. <laughs> Alright. Next is concede. <laughs> Flip and enable. Everything becomes enabled. Yeah, so you get three things happen when you gain control of the dragon. You get the war tokens, you get to have the dragon do a roar of chaos, song of order, or stay silent. He chose stay silent. And then the last thing is you can optionally have the dragon take a step forward, triggering the next so you step. you can like, move the game forward. Like, Which speeds speed up, up the end game. Okay. Yep. I see. And also makes the next event a persuade rather than a battle cry, because the battle cry just triggered. Okay. I'm sorry, what is the... Okay. Oh, so for every three war tokens, so right here, war tokens are these reds. For every three war tokens, get this one black. The black is the level token. When you get a level three war camp, you win. So all you need is six war tokens to win the game. How else do you get a... War token? Alright, so you get one war token if a, all players get one war token if a player concedes. Also, if you kill a player, you get three war tokens. That's it, right? Kill an enemy war war. And then, so, you get one from Concede, you get two from the dragon, you get three for killing the player. Or a war camp, right? Fine. Alright. There's just a number of zeros, like, it's 
two, and I was like, how do we order get one more other than con having someone concede? You you uh, bid again and win the commune again. Okay. Yeah. That's, four That's why the commune happens four times. Uh, All right. Next, exchange loyalty for leadership. You have enough. You do not. do not. You do not, and you do not. So you could gain more leadership by exchanging. decided on the path of chaos. More like Lord, there's a lot of collaboration over here. It's Kill evil. Each other. It's evil collaboration. So but it's it is lawful, collaboration. It's law evil. Which is what he is. No, 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 it's isn't it lawful chaos? It's like a cult. Okay. Lawful well, chaos is not I know. <laughs> I want that to be what it is. Alright. Uh, end of this round effects, there are none. New round, Goyar, meditation wears off. No, it stays. It stays on. Meditation, back up again. Next is... Anna. All right. Um, I'm still angry with you. You're what? <laughs> I'm still angry with you. Okay. Oh, end of game, uh, you said that in this, in the beginning version, the end of game is determined out who has the most people. Who has the largest army, yep. Largest army, You're a squad protectors. is one. How much health so a squad, squad is, is their current uh, squad size. So they have seven as a maximum, but they have one six. damage. So they have six members, six members, and what about Warlords your count as one. Knights. They have ten members, Twelve. and they have thirteen uh, members. So he and him over there. So if you want to manipulate, think of these as as victory points. If you want to ma manipulate other people's victory points, especially if it's getting close to end game, you can start damaging their squads. Right. I'm no. going to attack cute. The cute uh, orphan beast. Yes. Yep. All right. Number of attacks. Um, it would be four plus one bad. But they are a squad, so you're going to kill four members. Okay. All right. So four damage onto Orphan Beast. Cute. Okay. Uh, also, uh, its attacker loses one loyalty, but it's it doesn't a matter. Leader. It's a leader. It's a right? leader, yep. Okay. All right. Now your warlord just attacked. Mm -hmm. All of your chaos units that are within your presence gain one loyalty. Which I believe are both of my begotten witches. Yep. So chaos, chaos. Yep. And since I use the free movement onto that, I'm going to then move. Yep. So Chaos units want to see their Warlord attack. Okay. Alright. Next is... Conspiracy. Uh, More tattoos? Yeah, let's go. So conspiracy first. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just they're gonna do the same thing. Oh, oh. oh. How much leadership do you have with this? Oh, it's sick. Oh. It's you have a maximum, right? Right. Are you on maximum now? Yeah. Take the two damage on Rufus, by the way. <coughs> yep. Oh, okay. Should have converted. You're at one. You're at one. Okay. Um. All right. So, and you can still move after taking that action if you want. Uh, conspiracy first. You can oh, still conspiracy. move conspiracy. What are we doing with conspiracy? Conspiracy is very confused. They're a bunch of birds. So, you can always end your turn on wild terrain to gain one loyalty. There's. I can go in the air and go over it. Well, that would be the ending your turn in sky. <laughs> there I think is a wild terrain me off. right yeah, there. It's just I don't have a friend here. Oh, I'm from here. It's just like there's... One, two, three... Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll try here. Right there? Alright, next is murder. Murder. Murder is going for... Actually, for... This is free. That's Five, not murder. Six. No, no, I'm just saying... Oh, you're going to continue? Seven. Yeah, they do Sorry, move seven. This was free, if I remember correctly. Yep. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So you end your turn on the wild terrain, conspiracy gains, one loyalty. Now it's murder. Now 
it's murder. Murder is going to not be able to commute because I forgot that six was the limit. Um, you can fly around and scavenge stuff. Undead unit is deployed or a small beast. Why did they come to me? Well, because I'm hoping that you kill him so he can eat him, and then he's delicious. I don't want to kill them. Damn it. <laughs> They're adorable. They're adorable. All right. It takes too long. Next is Aradia. Aradia. Begun with, uh, not Aradia. I read that wrong. Adorable. 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 The or adorable orphan beast. Um, oh, is... oh, I took it from here. Sorry. He's supposed to... No, no, no. This one ended its turn and got oh, below. Got the end of its turn on the wild turn. Okay. They're gonna go there and just hang out. And they were here, right? Yeah. So one, this? two, three, four, three. Yep. yep. Who's this? That is my uh, Anna. Oh, that is his warlord. Next is Q. It's Q. Q. Uh, Q is on the board. You know what Q is? It's just gonna stay there and gain a loyalty. Alright, gain one loyalty. Next is. Graceful. Oh, graceful rooted protectors. Okay, so graceful unit protectors are going to move one, and they're going to shoot at the begotten witches. Okay. Uh, so they get two. Uh, I'm going to pay. Wait, how many life does the witches have? They have eight. So three, four, five, six. I can only get them for one. Uh, Quite potent. Seven attacks. You could. <laughs> so don't forget, your warlord has war song. That's true. Do, they, do any of the witches have loyalty on them? Yes. Both of them? Yes. I think I'll just try to do damage then. Uh, Rooney Protectors, Graceful, will target the Begotten Witches uh, without using this, this, so it's uh, three, four, five, six. Right, which, which one are, are you targeting? The, be the Begotten Witches as well. The sub name? Yeah. Boylan? Boylan. Oh, Boylan. Oh, sorry, the, the, the type was Boylan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Boylan takes six. Yep. Next is Agitated. Uh, agitated are there, they're gonna finish them off. Agitated gains one for killing a magical unit. The Gun Witch is dead. I get one, um, leader. Are you, is there, was you are that, not was within it, your presence. Oh, okay. sure. So, Boylan's dead. Next. Oh, you can still move afterwards. Uh, you know what? I like it where it is. All right. Next is Runic Protector Zealous. Uh, zealous. All the way over there. Got some birds. These birds are so stupid. What? How? What do these birds attack? <laughs> Two? It's like non-existent. You deal with it. Uh, I, I kind of want to ignore them. <laughs> I just want to be there. You One, kill them. I'm actually two, kill them. three. Is this also free? No. Uh, the first time you move onto a road is free. You can't trigger that free road movement a second time. Right, so One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to attack the witches. Yep. For, uh, for six. Just the, the. Actually. Yeah, for the base six. Uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The siblings. Yep, Sybil took six. All right, next is Sybil. All right, well, I'm going to hex that unit. All right, Zealous loses one loyalty. All uh, right, there. They stay right there. Okay. They get disabled. Yeah. They get disabled here. And recall. They're gonna to proceed to recall, but they haven't recalled just yet. Okay. Are you moving? Uh, yes. And you gain one loyalty after that, right? 
Because um, you I had to. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I am moving. Next is Carthage. I could record myself or, or uh, <laughs> the, the have the tutorial line, video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once I create the tutorial video, I'll just see how well people can play with just that. Right. Um, and if I'll there's do a blind pay test. Yep. Uh, it, a unit with loyalty can interrupt. They can. If yeah. they have the same type? Uh, no, no, no. So they could just interrupt by paying one loyalty. Uh, now, how they interrupt depends on their alignment. And, and if they're in the oppressed. If they are the neutral, presence. good. What is that? So neutral has the option of either damaging the opponent or taking a hit for their warlord. Okay. They also have to be within your warlord's presence in order to participate in the duel. Is it considered like an act of normal attack? It is if whatever that unit does for an attack. If you want to enhance that attack with life arrow or whatever, you can do that. Okay. Um, in that case, I will move Carthage here, and I will just shoot at the uh, at Anna okay. uh, for... Uh, six, uh, fire. Does she have, she doesn't have resistances, right, or anything? She doesn't resist anything. Fire. Alright, and there are no chaos units around your warlord that you have, so no loyalty gaining there. Next is Hillside. Hillside is going to gain one loyalty. Maniacal, right? You all set? Maniacal vermin bombers. <coughs> and here. And move off, deploy. Yep. Forgot witches. Forgot witches. Aradia. Next is Rockhead. So I'm going to gain a loyalty. I'm going to move one, two, three, four. Jesting. Vermin Bomber, Jesting. Okay. Jason? Those two targets. Those two? Yep. Okay. I'm sorry, which targets? All these three. Well, right. I, I, can't, I can't see where you're pointing. Um, so this is my character? Yes. I'm hitting that with a cluster bomb, okay. which does flash damage into these two. To Graceful and what else? No, that one. And Zealous, okay. Yep. Yep. So Adorable, Graceful, and Zealous. Now, Nurture Inducing is kicking in, mm -hmm. which does. Read it up. Uh, minus enemy one. bestial units get minus one APT. Mm -hmm. So the vermin bombers are bestial. Yep. So they're losing uh, one attack per turn twice. Yes, because there's two of them. Because there's two of them. Oh, okay. So minus two APT. All right. So pay one supply. Yep. And just hits with one APT. Oh, all right. Yep. So one APT for all three. So they all lose one. Uh, adorable. I need more dice. Uh, graceful. And then what about for Zealous? Because they're not. They're like. They still take a hit. They're still targetable. They're disabled, but they're still targetable. Okay, and then also, um, from. 
because you hit the adorable. I didn't um, hit the adorable. They're, they're right Adorable. Here. Oh, okay. I bet. Yep. So um, read it up. Immediately after this unit survives this, a set of attacks, its attacker loses one loyalty. Okay. So, so they get disabled. Mm -hmm. And oh, this is just. And now you know, and no one's off the battle. In fact, they're so cute. How could you attack them? Because they all look <laughs> the same from this distance. <laughs> Next is Scarred Rufus the Red. Uh, he's gonna heal from. Supply of my bleeding horror, which yep. is next to it's gonna eat three of them, heal for six, he has no damage on him now. Um, so that is gonna be his action, and then he's gonna put chill over here. Excellent. Alright, so uh, the bleeding horse. Why is he going over there? He just wants to chill over there today. Why? Well, you have guys over here, you ask him, what's going on over here? It's just worry about it. So the bleeding horse have an ability where a warlord can drink their supply of blood and heal for two health for each supply. Drink. And he doesn't have to worry about STDs? Wait, yep. Rufus is a vampire? Okay. Yep. Not at all. Oh, not at all. Standard not at all. He's not uh, a vampire. He's a also, uh, just he's keep in mind, yeah. if the unit gained health, this it, unit gains loyalty. So he, so this gains This one gains loyalty. He's a fire They element, like having right? their blood drunk. Weird. Ooh. It's a weird fetish. <laughs> okay. Don't get changed. Well, they are the constructs. They're, they're like these weird spider, blood-sucking spider. So wait, they are constructs? They're undead and they're constructs. Ah. It is an, it's a large elemental magical armored undead construct. Yeah, they're like everything. Okay. Yeah. And if you look like, at, please kill me. If you look at their artwork, they're like weird crab spider things oh, so with creepy. like a crystal. And the inside the crystal is blood, and there's like veins on it. It's cool. A lot going on there. Yeah. A lot going on there. The artist got creative. Uh -huh. Alright, next is Disciplined. Oh, my, my knights. Uh, where are they? Oh, they're right there. Well, um, one, two, three, they're going to attack Anna. Yep. Um, so they're... Only get one bonus. Okay. So the, she is a humanoid. Yep. So they do four plus one plus one from being within range of Q. Yep. Uh, so it's uh, six. Yep. Normal. Uh, and so they were. They were here, right? Let me turn. Here. They're yes. here, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna move them one back because they can move after. Yep. Alright. Next is oh, and they are a law unit. They protected their warlord by attacking an enemy. That's true. Loyalty. So they gain one loyalty. Well. Next is the Valkyrie, Arya. Are my living dead splits? Is that count towards my six max? Yes. Okay. It allows you to deploy units really fast, and if you're doing the splits in within your war camp orders, your war camp can restock the damage. So you can oh. heal them up to full if you combo with your war camp. Oh, I should have moved that. Okay. And also the splitting combos well with, with those. The yeah, I saw orders. that one. Yeah. Yes. So they're they're weird and quirky and slow. But also fast. Like they're slow initially, then the next round, like you have to double, right? They double themselves. And they're good as anti magical units with bone chop. I forget that it only, I, in my head, they're still healing two, but it only heals the warlord two. Yep. But it heals these to full. All damage dice to full. Yep. I'm going to pay um, one supply to use Holy Bolt yep. to attack the tank knights. Yep. Is three attacks. It steals thunder damage and one APC against armor. One uh, against. Yep, and the Piatic Knights are armored. Okay. Yes. So it's going to be four attacks onto the Piatic Knights. So four damage. They take four. And some more damage dice just in case. And they are a low unit and they are within their Warlord's presence. One loyalty. Okay. One loyalty onto the Valkyrie. All right, your Warlord's here. Mm -hmm. They're within. Presence, yeah. So they protect it. Next is the living dead, restless. Uh, 
Uh, they're gonna split. Uh, they're gonna take four damage and make a unit that has a squad size starter. I'm sorry, they're gonna take five damage. They're going to make a squad size of five here. Okay. Here we get unearthed. So they lose five members, so they take that five damage. They're secretly a, uh, a slime. Ah, asexual. They're grave digging, so they found new corpses. Ah. Yeah, but they're so tired, they lost like their arms and their legs from grave digging. That's why they They gave damage. them spare parts. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> uh, that was my full action for them. All right. Next is Bandit Phalanx. Bandit. I'm just going to gain loyalty. Branded. That's it. Durable. Same. Right. Vile. Bleeding horror. Bleeding horrors. Just, if you don't know what the strategy is, just figure out what the win conditions are. Right. Looks like your strategy is to deal 12 damage to someone in one go, plus, what's this thing? 4, 8, so 20 damage in one hit. Yeah, uh, maybe one. Uh, you can't stack you can't Goldar stack on the same unit. Oh, okay. But it lasts for the round, and it's whenever Rufus takes damage, two damage gets reflected. And the whenever part, is for each attack Rufus takes. Okay. All right, next is Tough. Okay, so I'm gonna gain one loyalty for Tough, and then by him ending the turn, I get another loyalty? Yep. All right, player one, war camp. Um, I am going to deploy clerics, virtuous clerics. Virtuous clerics. Someone's about to perform some weddings. That's how I do. We're leaving. Love and war, right here. <laughs> yep. Alright, next is player two. War camp. Um, my war camp, as it goes through, it can, can it provision the people that are, um, where's my, this is my undead, my second undead. Yep. My living dead here. You can target one unit and provision it. Okay, but I can't, do I heal as a... So provision is rest, which is for warlords, restock, which is to remove the damage dice, or resupply, which is to gain that supply, by the way, this one started with two supply. Okay. That's what, yes. So even if this one, okay, so if I... I can't go. And you can do one, it right two, now, three, and then four, move after. And provision twice. No. Can't it's do that not, it's not where you're moving. It's as long as they're within the war camp's borders, mm -hmm. you can provision them. And it just so happens it's a during turn, so you can do it while you're moving, okay. but you're only able to use it on one unit. On one unit. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna use it on. I guess I can land here and do that. Use it on him to uh, heal him back to full. Yep. And then come back and sit on this one. Well, remember, it just has to be in the border, so you never had to step here. Because it's inside oh, its, its borders, borders from yeah, here. So I can do yep. that. Okay, cool. Let's do that. And then Restless will be uh, back to full health. Yep. And you can continue moving elsewhere if you want. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to sit. Mm -hmm. Alright. Next is player three, War Camp. I think I'm going to turn it into a... Uh... Caravan. Caravan. 